expect power in order to generate power, but that's how the car alternator works. We connect power to generate a magnetic field. That magnetic field induces a current into the coils and generates a lot more power at the output. So that's why we don't have power. We have to connect first power to the brushes and then spin it. Those brushes internally are connected to these two pins. So let me just power up my power supply and connect 12 volts. Here is the positive side of the brushes and the negative side. So now when I power out the power supply, you will see that it will draw a lot of current like 3.5 amps but then when I rotate it, it will generate a voltage at the output. So let's just do that. So I'll start the power supply, 2.8 amps, and now when I rotate, just look at the multimeter. As you can see, we have reached 19 volts. So now we are generating power. So now you know that we have to first connect power to these pins in order to generate more power. But you have also seen that we have a 3 point something amps of waste. It's just current that is flowing through the coil and that is being lost. So in order to lower the losses, we also have a regulating circuit here. As you can see, we have this clip and that connects the power to this regulating uh, circuit. Because inside of a car, what you need is a steady voltage. So what you have to do is to increase the power into the coil and decrease it in order to keep like 12 volts for the battery because the battery is like 12 to 14 volts. So we have that. So let me just show another example, connecting and disconnecting that circuit and you will see that we will drop the current even if we are generating still the same amount of uh, voltage. Pay attention to the current consumption of my power supply which is the wasted power and also the generated voltage. Now the connection of the circuit is not connected, so now we'll waste like 3 amps just for keeping the coil energized. So let's just do that. 